what's the cricket horizon look like now that we think things are okay in the cricketing world? Um, yeah, obviously a lot of series were suspended um, last year and stuff. So the first tour that we potentially have is in the Caribbean. Um, the problem is that South Africa is on the red list um, and the only way to get there is through the UK and the US. Um, so yeah, we might be getting a very luxurious charter plane if that's available. But otherwise, um, you know, we go to the West Indies, play, come back, play in Ireland, then go to Sri Lanka. Basically, um, yeah, we're not going to be seeing our families for probably about three months. That's, uh, yeah, so we're going to be leaving home for about three months. Um, West Indies, Ireland, Sri Lanka, then India, and then obviously the T20 World Cup, which is a big one um, for the season. And is, is that already in focus? Is that you guys as a team, as a squad, you know, this is the one we're aiming at? Yeah, I think, look, obviously there's so many distractions happening around us. So the only thing we basically have said is, look, this is potentially what's in front of us. We're just going to focus on on doing our best. If it happens, it happens. If not, it doesn't. But we have to prepare for all these series that's coming up. And obviously the World Cup's a big one. Um, and then there's another one coming up another year later because of the postponement of um, this year's World Cup. So, yeah, really exciting times ahead. Um, tough as well, obviously living in bubbles and, and traveling away. Tough living in bubbles. You're going to spend two weeks quarantining in a five-star Caribbean resort on the beach. That is not tough to Brad Shamsi. <laughs> Yeah, but after that, <laughs> the, two, the two and a half months after that is um, Fair enough. Yeah, quite challenging. But you know what? We're really looking forward to it. And yeah, winning some games for the country. That's the big one. Tonight.